Hey, I haven't spoken. I was going to pick a lawyer. Can somebody, by raising your hands, please tell me what you think one of the necessary steps are to become a lawyer? Marcus. Go to college. Okay, go to college. Beth. Go to law school. Go to law school. Okay. Get a degree. Be able to argue with somebody. A good arguer. Okay. You have to know how to argue. That's what <laughs> that. Good job, Penny. Shh. Oh, oh, hi. What are some of the steps in high school that you might need to take? What are some of the steps in high school that you might need to take to become a lawyer and to even get into college? Jason. Like, get um, go to like advanced English classes. Okay, advanced English classes. Anybody else? Take a break. A lot of classes. Okay, Jason said that. Well, he said just English. Okay. Advanced classes. Okay, and getting good Okay, I'm about to read four different statements to you. If you believe in that statement, I want you to put a thumbs up. If you do not believe in that statement, I want you to put a thumbs down. <laughs> I believe I can graduate from high school and go to college. I don't see everybody's hands, so I'm still waiting on a couple of people. Sign is your sideways. Yours is sideways. Yours is up. Okay. I believe I can have a successful career when I'm an adult. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Did you see one of them? <coughs> thumbs up or thumbs down? You have to do one more. Okay. I believe it is important to my future to do well in school now. This given moment, middle school going on to high school. Thumbs up or thumbs down? I know I will find a good job after I graduate. What did graduate from what? Well, she said I know I will there. find a good job after I graduate. Thumbs up or thumbs down. There should be no talking. Yeah, thumbs up or thumbs down. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay, you can put your hands down. Okay, most of you believe in the statement. Some of you had a sideways, which is in between. Zion, I know you had a sideways one for one of them. Oh, no. I don't know. Thumbs up. Okay, sorry. Javel, can you tell me why you had a sideways for one of them? Right now, I think you had a sideways thumb as well. Why did you have a sideways thumb? 
I'm not sure, I just remember seeing your... I know I will find a good job after I graduate. Why is your sideways? You say what? Because I don't know yet. You don't know yet, okay. Okay, so most of you... If not all of you believe that, believe in those statements, which is good, that's the first step is believing in yourself and making sure that, you know, you can accomplish the goals that you put for yourself. Secondly, we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about the steps that you're going to have to take as far as your career goes, whatever you decide. And I did a little kind of, I didn't decorate mine. Yeah, little pamphlet of what you guys are going to do as part of your three careers. You're going to have a final project to do at the end of this unit. And at the end of this unit, hold your questions till the end. You're going to come up with three careers, and you're also going to be writing your steps that you're going to need to take in order to get to that career. This is kind of an example a little bit of the career map and see Eric Swartz. He actually has journalist, basketball player, chief executive office, and then one of them is high school, good grades in English class, joint school paper. And then in college, bachelor's and master's in journalism, joint school paper, and he also has an internship. So this is just kind of a mini example, and I'll be passing this around later on just so you guys have a better idea of what that looks like. Yeah, I can pass this around in a second. Marcus King. Right now, what I want you guys to do, I'm going to be passing out a worksheet, and I'm also going to be passing out markers. And what I just showed you, you guys are going to be doing for your three careers kind of like a little rough draft of what you're going to do for your final project, which is going to be your plan that you're going to turn into. So I'm going to pass that out.
You're going to have about 15 minutes to do your career math. I'll be coming around to help you if you guys need help. I need help. There's markers right here.